Hey, what's going on guys? Dopes Warner here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily install Magic Lantern onto your compatible Canon camera, giving you a ton of new features. So let's get into it. So for starters, you're going to need an SD card or a micro SD card, an SD card adapter like I am using here. Go ahead and insert that into your Canon camera. Uh, once again, I am using the Canon T3i for my version of this. So um, if you're using a different camera, it might be a tiny bit different. Um, I can't really speak for other models of Canon cameras. Um, so starting off, you're going to go over to the little wrench icon um, on mine. It's under the first one and click the format option. Under the format option, go ahead and just click OK. Make sure that low level format is not selected. You need to format the whole SD card. Once you're done with that, you are ready to head over to your computer. So insert your card into your computer and you're going to head over to the Magic Lantern website, which I will link you to in the description. Then head over to the downloads page and click download nightly build. Once there, you're going to basically have to select the model your camera is. Um, again, I don't know what camera you're using, but if you're using the Canon Rebel T3i, you are going to be looking for the 600D option. And it'll load up the compatible firmwares and basically, or not compatible, but the latest firmware that you can download. And basically, you're going to have the nightly build, which is the latest version with a bunch of extra features uh, that potentially could be unstable. Um, and then you have the core version, which is just the basic version and that's what I'm going to go ahead and download here and install. Um, you can just go ahead and use that but after this is installed I will show you how to basically install the latest build as well. So once you've done that you're going to want to extract those files to your SD card which should be uh, named EOS Digital because that's what it names it when you format it in your camera. Just go ahead and extract all the files over to there. I'm using uh, WinRAR but you can use whatever you want you just need to unzip them to that SD card. Once this is done, you are ready to head back over to the camera. Basically, just unplug your SD card and pop it back into your Canon camera. And then you want to make sure the dial is turned to a camera mode, not a video mode. I just set it to manual. Then click menu. And you're going to want to head over to the wrench that shows the firmware version and select that. Go ahead and click OK to update the firmware. And once you click OK, it will install Magic Lantern. So just let it do its thing. It might take a couple seconds, but it's a really quick install. And you will get the install success screen. And basically at this point, make sure you don't do anything except flip the off switch on your camera. Once done with that, flip it back on. And you need to give it a second or two for the memory card to boot up the uh, Magic Lantern software and then click the trash can, which will then take you into all the features and you are done. You have successfully installed this uh, firmware. So congratulations. Again, I'll show you how to basically install the latest nightly build if you want to do so. Take your SD card back out and pop it back in your computer. And on that page you were on on Magic Lantern, just go ahead and click download under the latest build. Again, warning, there is a chance that this could potentially damage your camera. They are tested, but the latest nightly builds, uh, because they have additional features and new updates, um, there's always a chance that they can be glitching. And so all you're going to do is basically extract the files in that nightly build to your SD card, and it will, it will replace the um, matching files that are on your SD card. So make sure when it says, do you want to overwrite files, you just click yes to replace the old files. Once done with that, go ahead and pop it back into your Canon camera and it is already updated. You don't actually have to do anything. Um, as you can tell, it looks a lot different than Magic Lantern now. It's got a bunch of different tabs with a crazy amount of additional features actually. And um, if you browse over to one of the tabs on the very bottom, it'll actually show you that you are indeed on the um, version of the nightly build that you just installed. So I hope this was useful. My goal was to make a tutorial like I usually do where I take something that's maybe um, somewhat a little bit tedious to some people and uh, put it in a bite-sized format where there's not really a bunch of additional information, just this is how you do it and there you go. Um, on that note, I will end the video. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to answer. Dope Summoner and I am out. Peace.